Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Got a fun one today. We're going to do Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. So this one's in standard tuning. Nice, easy, kind of acoustic version we're going to do. It's got one bar chord, one bar chord in it. So no capo, none of that stuff. We're going to do kind of a version. There's some guitar layers on there. There's a little one doing a bass line. There's one doing strumming these chords like we're doing. And there's one... Um, that's kind of doing arpeggiated thing uh, on the recording. But when he played it live, he just basically did what we're going to be doing today. So uh, that's how I'm going to do it. All right, so let's start here. The intro is just basically uh, the A chord, A major chord. Now the whole time, if you want to do those bass notes like he does, um, we're going to basically be doing... And these open A with the, and then strumming the chord. Just kind of a down up, and then hit the open E string, and then do the same. So like this. Kind of gives it that country vibe. So you're gonna want to do that. You gotta be a little bit more accurate. You gotta really basically accent a bass string. Right? And he does that throughout the entire song. So I'll show you what strings to hit when you, if you want to do that. Or you can just strum. Whatever you want to do. All right, so we start now into the verse. And the chords are going to be... All right, so that started with an A. And I... I was doing the, the bass notes, we're going from the open A to the open E, back to the open A, back to the open E. So it just... Then here's that bar chord, F sharp minor bar, bar across the second fret, and then add the fourth fret on the A and the D string. And from here, you're going to be picking the lowest sixth string as the first bass note into the fifth string after that. So like this. I went up instead of down. To an E major chord, same picking as the F sharp minor. Now to a D chord, a D major chord, so you're gonna hit the open D as the first bass note, and then the open A string. And then back to the A with the same bass notes. Now, when he's on this A in the verse, sometimes and you'll hear him just go. He's just kind of messing around with, he plays the A, then lift up the third finger there. So there's an open B string and then back down. So all together. Bass line is just four two zero on the on the A string, but we're not gonna really concentrate on those. Uh, it's a separate guitar that's doing that on the recording. And then we have basically the chorus. Now the chorus sounds like this. sing that vocal melody over it if you were. So same chorus, just kind of a different order. We're going to start with the A to the E, then the F sharp minor to a D. So that's the first four chords. But once again, A, E, Sharp minor to a D. Now from there we're back to the A and E, the D, and the A. Alright, 
so since it's the same chords, it's going to have the same little bass lines in them. So the, the way you play the D little bass line in the verse, you're also going to do it that way in the, in the chorus. All right, uh, now let's take care of the bridge. It sounds like this. So this bridge starts with that F sharp minor chord to E to the A. A is played a little bit longer than the D, A, and E. So it's the first half of the bridge. One more time. F sharp minor. E. A. A, E. All right, second half of the bridge is this F sharp minor to a G major chord. Now here you can just do the same kind of sixth string to the fifth string through those. The D, A, and then down to the E and just hold it for a while while it really builds up the chorus. So now uh, in the last chorus, there's a little extension on it and it past the regular chord progression. And all he's doing there is just repeating, going back and forth between the E and the A. All right, so that is about it. Some pretty simple chords, one bar chord, but uh. Uh, as soon as you get it down, you got a great song to play. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.